imperial population that grows at a rate proportional to its size. So initially it starts at 10,000 cells and after 10 days it explodes, well, explodes or it grows to 20,000. So essentially this is our result and then our initial is going to be 10,000 and that's after 10 days. So E raised to the K, which we do not know times T and T is 10 days. So what we're going to do here, and then finally what they want to know is what is the population after 25 days? So what's happening here is we solve for K and once we know K, we can plug that in and then for T instead of 10, we can use 25. So solving this first thing we're going to do is divide three by 10,000. We end up with E raised to the, I'll just put 10K, is equal to 2. 20,000 divided by 10,000 is 2. Take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of E is just 1. Natural log of 2. So we end up with 10K is equal to natural log of 2. Divide through by 10. We just get K is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by 10. And I have no idea what that is. But... Um, here. All right, so what we'll do is we'll sub that in. I'll, I'll, I'll just calculate at the very end. So 10,000 times E raised to the natural log two over 10 times 10. Oh, hey, that's kind of nice. <laughs> so it's just E raised to the natural log two. So let's figure out what that is. I'm going to use Wolfram Alpha. All right, so 10,000 E raised to the natural log of two divided by 10, even though this is unnecessary, just times 10. Hold on a second here, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, of course, that's right. It is 20,000. We want 25 days. Sorry. I got confused there for a second. All right. So there's our exact result. Um, so this ends up being equal to 40,000 root 2. And if we want an approximate result, we'll just we'll round up to the nearest bacterial. So we have 56,568 point five four round up to the nearest one well yeah round up so fifty six thousand five hundred and sixty nine bacteria that's it all right i hope this helped you out thanks for watching you have a great day